Good evening. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you again for joining me for another video. Today is going to be a get ready with me video. What are we getting ready for? Absolutely nothing. Not really going anywhere at all, but I have some new goodies. So I just really wanted to do my makeup and I wanted to try out my new goodies. So I was like, why not film it? First of all, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are not new and you're happening to stop by and visit, go ahead and hit that subscribe for me down below. I would love for you to join the Glam Fam with Glam Tam. Y'all, I'm so excited. Let me tell y'all. So next week is me and my husband's one year anniversary. We made it to, not that I didn't expect to make it, but I mean, it's been a year already. Like this came really fast so i decided why not tell y'all the story of how we met i mean i think a lot of people know how we met but they don't know like how in depth we met and how it went down because sis let me tell you it went down so yeah i just decided to go ahead and just share the in-depth story of how me and my hubby met um one year ago july 2nd was the big day and I honestly could not ask for a better person to be married to. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. I'm really not gonna cry. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. And I'm not gonna cry. Let me just get into this video and stop being a sap and all emotional and stuff because y'all know how I am. First of all, let's start off with the primer. So this primer is actually not new, 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 but it's new, y'all haven't seen it yet. This is Rimmel London. Stay matte primer. I've actually been really liking this primer. Anything with matte, y'all know I love it because your sister be getting oily, okay? And anything that will suck up all these oils, honey, honey. Okay, so let's start off by talking about where it all began. It all began June 21st, 2015. I was feeling good. Let me tell you guys what happened. I just got all this in my eye. So yeah, June 21st, 2015, it was a beautiful Sunday. But for those of you who don't know, um, I live in Georgia or Atlanta. And if you do not know who Heather and Cornelius Lindsay are, you should definitely follow them. They have their own church called The Gathering Oasis. But every year, Heather Lindsay hosts um, a conference called Pinky Promise Conference. But it's basically a conference for women, women of all ages. And, you know, everyone comes down to Atlanta and they worship God. You know, there's different, like, breakout sessions, things like that. I've honestly never been <laughs> to the conference, but I've actually been to their Sunday service at the conference. So the conference is usually, like, on the weekend. Then they have their typical Sunday service at the conference, if that makes sense. Like, all the members of the church go to the actual conference and it's part of like their last day so i honestly was not part of <laughs> i was not a member at the church but i missed the conference i wanted to go but i was actually out of town that weekend and so i was actually back on that sunday so i was like let me go you know see what it's about because i you know follow them on social media and it looks really really impactful, really encouraging. And so I just really wanted to go. So I went by myself, surprisingly, because if you know me, I don't like to do anything by myself. But I actually ended up, ended up going by myself. And, um, you know, service was really good. Service was, I can't remember exactly what Cornelius preached about, but it was really good, whatever it was. But anyways, towards the end of service they have like a breakout prayer session where like you could either pray with someone or you could like pray by yourself or whatever 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 so i of course didn't know anyone there because i went by myself and i ended up just praying by myself um right in the seat where i was at and it was nothing nothing new you know just a typical um, if anyone wants to know what kind of foundation this is, this is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is not new. I've been using this for a while. So I was by myself in my chair, um, sitting like towards the back, but you know, everyone was like praying definitely. And it was, you know, a long time we were praying, but anyways, my prayer started off typical 
you know, thank you God for, you know, who you are. Thank you God for what you're doing in my life, blah, blah, blah. Let me just tell y'all real quick too. I was actually working this job, um, fast food. I've been working there for like, I was working there for like five years and I was like praying so hard you know, to get out of there because, I mean, fast food just ain't my thing. Anyway, so like I said, I had just got back. I went out of town to visit family, and I just got back. And, um, you know, it was literally the last day working at that job. Um, that Sunday was my last day. And so I was just praying, being very, very thankful for God. I mean, yeah, for God and Him opening up that door for me to, you know, quit and go work full-time and you know, just being around family. I just felt very blessed, you know. I thought I done heard something. I just felt very blessed, but for, I don't wanna say for some reason, but that same moment when I was praying, I just began to pray for my husband, which was kind of like, I don't wanna say it was random because like I had moments like while I was single where I would pray for a husband before um but i was like going in and <laughs> i was just saying all this stuff about my husband and how i'm thankful for him in advance for you know what god is doing in his life and it was just so kind of it's kind of like how the bible says the holy spirit will intercede for you and you know give you the words to say to pray for and think what to pray for what to pray for um it was like that kind of moment because i was not even thinking about a husband at that time or thinking about being in a relationship. Let me tell y'all, when I was single, like I was single, I was not out here flirting around with dudes. I was not out here, you know, going on these random dates. I literally like woke up, went to the gym, went to work, came home, and, you know, and chill. I was literally chilling. Like, I was like, if it happens in five years, 10 years, whatever, it's gonna happen. I got to the point when I was okay with being single. Like I was not stressing it no more. Um, and that's actually like a whole nother story, how I got to that point. But um, that Sunday, I was not thinking about a husband. I was not worried about a husband. I was not worried about being in a relationship. I was just excited about quitting this job. So when I started praying for my husband, it was kind of like, god is this you like <laughs> is he coming soon <laughs> because i was not expecting it and the things that i was saying it was literally like i almost knew him if that makes sense like i didn't know what he looked like or who he was or where he lived it just kind of confirmed that he was definitely going to be someone that god leads me to or leads me to him you know and so whatever um after you know praying for my husband or praying that prayer i felt like 100 percent at peace of you know everything that was going on in my life so after that service i went home you know typical sunday had my afternoon sunday nap which is like two three hours you know eight then got ready for work i went into work feeling really good because it was my last day I really didn't do anything at all because I was a manager. The people that I worked with were like, Tam, just chill. You know, it's your last day. We know you don't care. <laughs> so I don't want to say the, the words that I didn't care, but I mean, I didn't really care, you know. This is actually NYX 3-in-1 Brow Pencil. This is new. I got this from Ulta the other day because I ran out of my brow pencil. Okay, so I was at work just literally chilling and sitting in the back on my phone doing whatever, you know, just waiting for the shift to be over. So I was on Instagram just, you know, typical scrolling and out of nowhere I got this request. I got a friend request and it said Brian, I don't want to say his middle name, Brian Smith added you as a friend on, on Instagram. So I'm thinking Brian Smith, like, I don't know Brian Smith, but he sounds cute. So, so I, um, of course clicked on it. And when I tell y'all this picture popped up, honey, let me tell you, when I say God is good all the time, not only that, but like, you know how in the bios, of Instagram, you know, you can like write a little bit about yourself. Not only was his profile picture cute, but his bio literally said Jesus is King. So when I saw Brian's profile picture, it was like, hey, who are you? 
Where are you from? You know? And so I didn't do anything instantly. But like maybe a few minutes later, I went back and I did go through and I like some pictures of his. It's, it's storming outside, guys. Sorry if y'all can hear all that thunder. But um, yeah, I did go back and I did like some pictures of his. Because I was like, I mean, hey, I see you. You know, I want you to know that I see you. I want you to know that I got your request. You know, so let's not waste any more time. You know, I'm fine. You're fine. You know, let's just get this thing popping. You know, we both love Jesus. What else, what else is there to do? After I liked his pictures, I think he went back and liked mine, I think. But he actually ended up going back and um, DMing me, like sending me a message, direct message. And he was just basically like, hey, thanks for the love. And I was like, no problem. <laughs> no, for I was like, yeah, you're welcome. And I was like, you know, nice pictures, by the way. I was not pursuing him whatsoever. I was just. Letting him know it's okay. It's okay to come for me. I'm waiting for you to actually come get me. Because I'm here. You know. I pr literally prayed for you this morning. And now you're here. And so. Why waste any time? After I sent him that DM back. You know. It was basically small talk from that point. It was like. You know. Where are you from? But then. After he told me that he lived in Florida. Like my heart dropped. I was like. Why God? Originally, when I pictured myself meeting my husband, I wasn't really picturing meeting him, you know, online. Um, I was picturing, like, you know, at church. Like, this guy lived in Florida, and I'm thinking to myself, how in the world is this going to work out? But God, you know, definitely worked that out, you know, thanks to him. So I didn't, like, give up or anything like that. I just kind of went with the flow of things, and he eventually, like, asked for my number. You know, that night, you know, after... You know working everything we ended up talking probably like three or four hours and the whole conversation wasn't even like hey what's your favorite color my favorite color is pink what's yours oh mine is blue you know what's your favorite movie or what's your favorite food it wasn't even like that type of conversation it was literally like um what has god done for you or you know how did you get where you are spiritually you know who is jesus christ to you and it was really kind of spirit led and not only that, but he also came out and told me, like, he's not having sex. Um, for those of you who don't know, I did wait until marriage to have sex. And it was very important for me to meet someone who was willing to wait for me. Um, and there was so many guys out here that I was coming across that were like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I can wait with you. But then, like, they were always kind of slick bring it up, like, so you ain't willing to do nothing you know and it was just kind of like ridiculous at that point so i was like you know what the next guy that i meet is going to be my husband and he's going to want to wait like i'm not out here playing with nobody waiting to have sex was a deal breaker like if you're not willing then we're not going to be together whatsoever i'm not going to try to make it work i'm not going to compromise with nothing and ladies, let me just tell y'all, if he is not willing to wait and he is trying to pressure you, he's not the one. He's not the one. So yeah, anyways, um, that same night, like I said, we um, talked for three, four hours. And also, like, he was just cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was, you know, kind of feeling him. You know, he was cool. I was cool. You know, our conversation flowed. It wasn't forced or anything like that. So, of course, from there on... You know, we just kept talking. And another thing that kind of like gave him like super brownie points is the fact that I never had to wait around for him to like call me or text me. You know, like, you know how some people are like too busy to like send a text or too busy to call and check on you? Like, he never was too busy for me. Like, he always texts me good morning and texts throughout the day. Um, he always called me at night, you know, things like that. And, Especially if you're long distance, that's very important. That's what you need. Like, you need communication because you can't see each other. So, you need communication. This is new. I have not been showing you guys what I've been using. <laughs> Sorry. But this is new. This is Milani's uh, Rose Blush. Hence the fact that it literally looks like a rose. So pretty. So, yeah. The, so, yeah. The more we talked, the more we were like, uh, yeah, this is actually pretty serious. This is... Like, we're on to something, you know what I'm saying? This is no play-play, you know, sandbox type relationship. Like, this could honestly lead to something. 
and we found that out very quickly there was no like specific date that we started dating that's why we just used the date june 21st the day we started dating we just started calling each other like babe and honey and then eventually we just told each other we loved each other <laughs> and also my birthday was coming up my 20 i think second birthday or 21st no 22nd birthday was coming up he really made it important to him that he come all the way to georgia to see me like face to face and so booked his flight booked a hotel and that was the first time we actually saw each other was on my 22nd birthday it was actually the night before my 22nd birthday but he actually came here to um visit me for my birthday and you know of course everything went well it was really enjoyable so from then on we just kind of we see each other when we could it was definitely not as often as i wish it was um there were times we went like six months without seeing each other you know our relationship was a lot of phone calls a lot of facetiming a lot of text messages you know things like that and it i'm not gonna lie it got hard it got really hard at times um because it was like you want to be with that person physically um the person that you're with the person that you like and you want to physically like see them all the time and um i couldn't do that with him so it definitely got hard um our relationship was not perfect whatsoever we actually like broke up twice not even gonna lie we broke up twice throughout the whole relationship um, it only lasted for a day, but still, we had a lot of learning to do. We had a lot of growing to do. And I feel like that's probably one of the reasons why he was in Florida and why I was in Georgia, so that we could grow, you know. And being long distance definitely helped us both to grow. And it helped us to get to know each other um, spiritually because we had to learn spiritually. We had to learn who we were once the relationship starts that's when like you know things start happening not not that it's bad but i mean it just takes you know time you know to grow into who you are grow into who y'all are as a couple getting to know like you know your your purpose together you know we definitely talk about marriage a lot and it definitely happened in the right timing um that's another thing like you both have to definitely seek God when it comes to marriage. I wouldn't suggest just marrying that person without seeking God, especially together. Um, we got engaged on Christmas, actually Christmas of 2016. And six months later, we were married. And here we are almost a year later, and we've been married for a year. Okay, so my camera cut off. Um, but I did put lashes on. So I did get a new lipstick too the other day. I love, love, love NYX because they're affordable and they stay on all day. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. So that is kind of all that I have going on today. I actually feel like I'm doing the most and I'm not going anywhere. But I just wanted to try out those new products. And I'll put everything down below in the description box for you guys. But I just want to end this video on this note that if you're single... Continue to be single. <laughs> Enjoy being single. Don't think about when your time is going to come because it's going to come. It's going to happen. God's timing is always perfect. It's always right on time and he knows exactly what he's doing. You don't have to continue to let him know that you're single because he knows. <laughs> it's not a curse. It's not anything to be ashamed of. It's not anything to be embarrassed about no matter what age you are. Um, if you truly desire to be married, if you truly desire to have a husband, it's going to happen. And um, you're going to know exactly why God made you wait. And it's going to be worth the wait, you know. So do not settle. Don't lower your standards for anybody. Don't compromise for anybody. Keep your standards high because you are worth it. You know, you're God's child. You're literally a daughter of a king. And so he wants the best for you and he has the best for you but you have to be willing to be patient you have to be willing to trust him enjoy your single season enjoy who you are love yourself know your worth know that you are literally like i said a daughter of a king and only satan wants you to feel like you're losing satan wants you to feel like you're not good enough he wants you to feel like 
you're always going to be alone when you're really not alone um because god is with you and he just wants you to feel like it's not worth it and i'm here to tell you guys that it is so worth it it's so worth the wait god is not making a mistake in preparation as far as you know you and your spouse like while god is preparing you while you're single he's also preparing your spouse wherever he is wherever he may be um god is preparing you both you know for whenever he does bring you two together um from being you know dating to be, being engaged to being married you know all of this works together for the good i promise you you know just like the bible says that's one of the promises that god has for us is everything always works together for the good so i just want to encourage you know especially my single ladies out there to never give up on god to just have faith and continue to trust him that whenever he brings you your husband that it's going to literally be god's best for you and i'm a living witness <laughs> and no our relationship is not perfect it will never be perfect but at the end of the day you know we're perfect for each other and we have a perfect god and so i didn't mean to end up preaching in this video but you know you just got to do what you got to do you got to feel what's on your heart and say it so for whoever that is for i just hope that encourages you um and on that note i really hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me give me a thumbs up um if you enjoyed it and if you would like me to do more get ready with me's get ready with me's um <laughs> and more of these types of videos and don't forget to follow me on social media um i will link all of my social media pages down below it's really just instagram and snapchat but that is kind of where i post like day to day you know i kind of like post stories and things like that so you guys you know can see the behind the scenes of my life and what's going on and at this point i'm just rambling so i guess i will talk to y'all later in my next video i love y'all be blessed peace see y'all later <laughs>